What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally got to Cerulean City, and now it is finally time for us to just explore this whole place. We already know the details of this. Uh, I don't think it's very hard to actually, you know, act on it. As many of you guys already know, you go talk to this guy right here. He will want to trade you a Jinx for a Poliwhirl. Now, right here, he's going to train you... He, he's gonna want you to trade a, an Aloma Mola for a Keldeo, and unfortunately, we do not have we do not have that Pokemon just yet. But eventually, we will be tra uh, we will be trading for a Keldeo at some point. Now, if we go back here, you'll talk to the guy who will describe the badges for you. And well, we're just gonna be looking for a something something right here. You know, a little something something that we can find. Look at that. We found ourselves a rare candy. Which is great, and well, that's pretty much it right there for that. So, let's see, what else is new right here? I don't know. Maybe going to defeat some Pokemon trainers. This guy right here, looking for Team Rocket. And well, us about to battle our next Pokemon, or our next opponent right here. So, let's go right ahead and take on uh, whoever is next right here. And look at that, Gary or Blue is here. Look at that, Gary, yo, Draven! You're still struggling along back there? I'm doing great! I caught you, I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Draven. As many of you guys already know, it's the same thing. Okay, so here we are taking on Gary yet again, and he'll be coming out with his Tranquil, the replacement for a Pidgey right there. And here we have Flash now. We did find some benefit to the whole uh, buying thing, and uh, as you can see, we just got messed up with, uh, you know, with a quick attack, but luckily for us, we're going to keep on doing the bind, little bind hack, because this guy cannot move, and as many of you guys already know, this is like a death trap if your Pokemon is slow, and unfortunately right now, we kind of missed right there, so let's go again, and crap baskets. Yes, we get our butts kicked right there. Okay, so Flash, you did not do anything for us, so let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. Hmm. Alright, Oinkinator. Mega Punch. Okay, and Tranquil still very, very slow. <laughs> Kinda coughing right there. Okay, so let's go for an Ember Attack, and you, of course, so I'm gonna get really, I'm gonna get really angry about that quick attack right there. And look at that, we've defeated Tranquil. Oinkinator doing his thing. Coming out with the Zerua. Now, this is a new one right here. Zerua, where can you find it? Because I kind of want one. Uh, let's go with Mr. Waddles right here because, well, Zerua happens to be the dark type Pokemon. And if I'm not mistaken, bug types are strong to this guy, but we do not have a bug type move, so we're going to just take a Leer attack and, well, try and absorb anything we have for this guy right here. Look at that. He's trying to weaken our defenses. We need to find the Zerua. We really do. And, well, here comes that Fury Swipes attack. And, well, hopefully he only hits us twice. Nope, he's hitting us multiple times. Oh, crud, that's four. Come on, stay! God dang it. So, right now I'm in danger. And... Well, there really isn't much that, you know, this, this whole uh, Absorb can do. And just like that, Zerua is whooping us. So, let's see. Back to Oinkinator. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, what Pokemon am I going to choose later on? I I think I already have it in mind. Hell, I might even pick out some Pokemon from the PC that I already have. And uh, just put them on my team. One of those Pokemon happens to be Mr. Hydro. And, uh, well, there we go. Oh, no, not Mr. Hydro. I mean, uh, what was it called? Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Drillmonger. If you guys don't remember, in Pokemon Black, Drillmonger was my Pokemon that, you know, I kind of used to, boom, destroy everybody with a strong physical attack. And right now, oh god, I am suffering. This guy is going, yeah, he, he's going ham all over my defense. And so far, this is the third Leer that we're taking. And, well, there we go. Water Gun attack for the win. Say goodbye to Patrat. And Mr. Hydro is winning right here, and here comes an Oshawott. Now, I could have used Waddles right here, but yeah, not working. So let's go with Toxicity, and well, let's see how we fare, okay? So let's go with a Poison Sting, 
try to work that off. Hopefully, it poisons this guy right here. And there we go. Poison Sting again. And Tackle Attack. Good gravy. Poison Sting. Let's go. Tackle Attack. And so far, this Poison Sting is not poisoning this guy. So it's just going to be a battle of who wants it more, Poison Sting or Tackle. And there it is. You are poisoned. So here comes a Focus Energy. And you're getting hurt. So let's go ahead and heighten up this defense right here. So there we go. It's going to take a lot for you to just beat me. And, well, we are taking a nice looking right there. But guess what? We do have some potions right here. So let's go right ahead and give some to Toxicity. Probably something I should have given to Flash and whatnot. And, well, Oshawa is still getting hurt. Let's go with another defensive curl. Okay, there we go. And still nothing. You're getting hurt by poison. I'm being very strategic magic right here. And, well... Here comes another focus energy that does not work. Let's go, Poison Sting. Come on, Toxicity. And, well, there goes a, diff, a well, Tail Whip. And so far, we're winning this whole win, uh, this, this, this thing of strategy. And, well, look at that. We win. Toxicity gains experience points, and we've won already. Yes, sir. All righty. So Gary's like, hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill is the most famous, uh, Pokemaniac. Uh, he invented some Pokemon storage system on his PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. And there he goes. Flipping you off, Gary. Flipping you off. Okay, so... I am going to... Move forward right here. Heal my Pokemon. Maybe take out a Pokemon from the PC and then... Get back at this, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here I am back in the flesh, and, well, I did take out one Pokemon out of the PC. Forgot to nickname it because didn't think I would be using it, but yes, I got myself a P-Dove. Now, some of you guys suggested getting P-Dove out of the PC or, you know, using a P-Dove because of its stats right here, but as you can see, it's both normal and flying, and it does have a flying-type attack that we could use. Now, again... A lot of these Pokemon will not be on my team at the end of the game. I don't know which ones. I am thinking of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm going off the top of my head of which Pokemon I should be using. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment down below and I'll, you know, I'll entertain them. Now, here we are in the Nugget Bridge. And, well, this guy's saying that, you know, beat five of us, you will beat a, uh, you will get a grand prize. Well... Time to get that grand prize right here. So here we go, going up against Bug Catcher, and yes, he is coming out with a Sawaddle. And uh, hello, hello, using a P-Dove. Kind of like, a, kind of thought ahead right there. And well, this Sawaddle right here is quadruple damage. Just because it's both a grass and a bug type Pokemon. And look at that, he's trying to slow us down right here. Won't work. P-Dove, Gust Attack. There we go. For the win. And just like that, Padov grows to a level 11, growing into its quick attack right there. And, well, here comes a Shellmint. This is a new one. I want to find that guy. And, well, this guy's using uh, Charizard's freaking, uh, you know, uh, voice. I wonder how many Pokemon got repeated in this whole thing right here. So, here we go. Leech Life. Trying to drain me of all my energy. Not working. Okay, so here we go. Gust Attack. And, well, it's doing some damage right here. We got a level 11 P-Dove going up against, you know, level 14 Pokemon right here. So that's a good good start for training. And, well, we're almost done right here. So here comes a Bite Attack. Okay. I see what you're doing, and I don't like it. So there we go. Shelmet has been defeated. P-Dove grows more level, or grows more experience points. And this guy is not happy at all, I think. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Gotta heal, gotta heal our Pokemon. And, well, we gotta switch out here too because I have a feeling that this person has, like, some kind of messed up Pokemon. So we're gonna start off with Flash right here. And, well, let's see. Number two, and she is serious, apparently. Okay, bring it on. Okay, so here we go. Last wants to fight, and she will be coming out with a beat of. I was just, you know, 
I don't know, it's just a blind instinct. So here we go, we're gonna go with a Thunder Wave Bind attack right here. And, well, there's that Leer. Trying to lower our defense, and so far Flash is just not having it. Okay, here we go, continuing on with the Bind attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Now, if you guys don't know, Bind does last for at least five turns. Now, if you are slow, and you are paralyzed or any of some sort, this Pokemon will not move at all. So, this is kind of like a spam right here. Then, uh, well, it's a good way to get Flash, you know, some more experience points. Now, this is going to take a long, long, long time, but there is that chance that it might miss right there. So, look at that. Cannot move. That's right, beat of You are screwed. Oh, yes. And, yeah, this is how I got Flash to grow to level 14. So, this is better than a Magikarp right here. And look at that, Flash doing his thing, grows a level 6 or 15, and well, he's going to be coming out with a purloin, so let's go with Oinkinator right here, see what it can do, it can do something, 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 alrighty, okay, so here we go, Mega Punch misses, and well, Mega Punch is out of the question now because of, you know, that whole uh, inaccuracy stuff, and well, look at that, Ember Attack does his thing, here comes the Fury Swipes, and, well, good thing Oikinator is tough right here. Tougher than nails. That's right. Four times. Here comes an Ember attack for the win. Say goodbye to Purloin. Oh, yes. And, well, Lass has been defeated. And, well, how could she lose? It's pretty simple. That damn good, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Toxicity. I still want to get this Pokemon uh, some levels, so... Hopefully, its poison attacks can actually do something. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Youngster. And, well, Youngster is coming out with its patch rat. Alright, Toxicity. Let's do this. Poison Sting attack. Poison this guy. And there is a bite attack right there. So, in that case, we're just going to heighten up our defense. Look at that. Heightening up our defense. And there's no energy unleashed, so let's go straight for a poison t a poison sting attack. And well, there it is, another. Oh wow, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we're not gonna be hit. We're not gonna be able to hit this guy right now. So there we go, poison, poison. God dang it. And well, unfortunately, we have no effects in Generation One. So yeah, that none of that's gonna happen right now. And well, let's see, defensive curl. Let's go again. Look at that. Our defense is mighty, like Thor. And yes, we're gonna just like be blind. You know, screw that. And look at this, it's poison. So no matter what happens now, I will win because you are poisoned and I am mighty. Okay, alrighty, so let's go with the defensive curl again. And well, that might max out our defense. And well, there we go, Toxicity does his thing. And he's about to come out with a Lillipup. So I'm going to take my chances right here since Toxicity's defense is right up there. And, well, since our accuracy is low, won't be much right now. So there we go. And it is poison. So, yes, we are mighty. Okay. All righty, Toxicity. And there's some poison right there. Now, this, this the, the Lillipup sprite is really freaking me out because it's just looking like evil and stuff. I don't even know why. Looks mean. Can't even show his mouth, so even if we miss, it doesn't matter. So there goes a tackle attack, and well, look at this. Poison is killing it, and well, we're still missing. Tackle doesn't really do much. Oh, yes. We are a strategic machine right here. And well, that was a critical hit. How in the... Shoot, maybe I should have gotten myself ace back. Okay, never mind. So let's go ahead and go back to this potion right here, and, well, there's a bite attack. Not much. There goes a poison. And, well, let's go with the poison sting attack. Now, hmm, I do have an idea. It's a, It sounds crazy, but it might just work. But I might have to do it, like, right after this battle right here. So look at that. Two battles in a row. Toxicity grows a little 15. And it's learning bite. Okay, so now we finally got a good move. And here comes a Woobat. Now, that is a flying and poison type. I am not going to take my chances with that. Let's go straight to Oinkinator. 
Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. And Oikonator, do his Mega Punch, and why would you miss, you a-hole? God dang it. Alright, super effective. Mega Punch, finish this guy off. Now, Wubat does sound convincing. Sounds like a very good Pokemon to actually have, but eventually it's not, yeah. I don't know how he evolves right here in Unova Red, because it evolves through happiness. And, well, happiness does not work right here, and look at that, level 22. Oinkinator's doing his thing. Alrighty, okay, so you got Stomp Flat, you third. Got your butt kicked. Okay, so let's go right ahead and kill some Pokemon right here. Right here. Oinkinator doing his thing. Okay, so I think we're starting to get a, a hang of which Pokemon we can actually have, you know, keep on our team and whatnot. Um, let's see, uh, Mr. Hydro might be doing something right here. So let's go right ahead and battle train number three, or number four, yeah. Still can't count, okay. Alrighty, let's see what we got. And here we have Alas going up with her Pete of. Okay, Mr. Hydro, do your thing. Kind of sound like, uh, what was his name? Uh, Psyduck, but it's alright. Okay, and well, that growl attack does not really work right here, so here we go again. Water gun. Okay, and uh, I don't know. Water gun's still special, or I don't. I, I really don't know. Okay, so quick attack does its thing right there. And well, we're almost done with this guy right here. So let's just again water gun. Let's just spam it. Okay, and well, look at that. Say goodbye to good old Mr. Pete of right there. And, well, he's coming out with the purloin, so I'm just going to stay with Mr. Uh, Mr. Hydro right here. And, well, let's see. What should I do? I heard cats don't like water, so might as well do that, right? Okay. There we go. There's a growl attack. Not much of an attack right there, so here we go again. Water gun. And, well. <laughs> Oh jeez, okay, so let's let's try this one more time and of course we're gonna yeah, we're gonna get destroyed right here. Not destroyed, but you know, we're gonna get blinded with by the sand attack. And look at that, we're almost done. Just go to sleep already, Perloin. Okay, and there we go. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, and look at that, Mr. Hydro grows level 17. We done it. Okay, so that was four. <sighs> okay, alright, so we, we got another person right here, and I think p might be the man for the job right here, so let's go ahead and see what happens. This guy's like, okay, I'm number five, I'll stomp you. No guy, alright, whatever you say, homie. Alright, so here we go, another Pokemon battle, and it's against a junior trainer male coming with his timber. <laughs> oh my god, T doesn't timber look like one of those mud flap uh, females? I'm being serious, guys. Holy crud. Okay, so here comes timber with its uh, focus energy, so we gotta start beating this guy real quick, and. Okay, so that was super effective. Try this again, and the Leer attack doesn't really do us any good. And there we go. Super effective. And oh, snap. Okay, so we got to beat this guy real, real quickly. So the next move is going to win. But seriously, Timber looks like a mudflap. Like one of those mudflap females that you see. Oh my god. And P Dub grows a level 12. So I guess Pedov is a nice addition to this whole thing right here, and, well, obviously the last trainer is going to be a Team Rocket member, so, you know what, let's screw it up. Let's go with Pedov. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize, we got ourselves a nugget, and by the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of dedicated to, to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Yeah, right, okay. So, let's go right ahead and do it. Let's get this. Here we go, going up against a Team Rocket member, coming out with a purloin. 
And... Here's Pito. So here we go. Quick attack. Let's get this. All right. All right. All right. And, well... Turns out that Pito is actually a pretty good Pokemon right now. Unfortunately, this Fury Swipes is getting us. So let's go with another quick attack right here. And that right there is taking a lot of HP, so... I'm starting to think that B-Dub is a good Pokemon for this team. I could be wrong, okay? And look at that. Scratch attack does its thing. Here we go again. Quick attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. P-Dub grows level 13. And, well, about to come out with the Woobat right here. So let's go straight to Flash. And, well... I wish Flash would have been like a... Like Zubat, but... Nope, it's a Zubat like. So here we go, Thunder Wave, and wow, before we even hit him, this guy right here, and well, yeah, that's really not going to work for us. So let's go switch it out to Oinkinator. If all else fails, go to Oinkinator. And here comes a Supersonic yet again. So let's go straight for an Ember attack. Come on! Jeebus Criminy. Okay, so this guy is just spamming the crap out of, uh,. You know, out of its, uh, supersonic, and yet we're getting our butts kicked. By ourselves. Seriously. By ourselves. Come on, Oinkinator! There we go. God dang it! Uh, this is ridiculous. Okay, come on. Mega Punch for the win! Oh, uh, yes. And Woobat nearly gets defeated, and of course, we're getting another Zubat or supersonic right here. Let's go for a tackle. Come on! God dang it! And, yeah, that right there... He's really, really getting at me. There we go. Tackle attack for the win. Suck it, Woobat. And, well, look at that. Team Rocket has been defeated. Ugh, you are too good. That's right. I am very good. With your ability, you could become a top leader in a Team Rocket, which is true, okay? Very, very true. So, that was Nugget Bridge, guys. And, well... In the next episode, we will be going through the next route to get to Bill. Now, in the process, I am going to try and do that whole, uh, that whole, uh, Mew, Mew, uh, cheat right here and see if it works or see what Pokemon we get. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we'll be going through more and getting to Bill's house. See you guys.